Here we go. This next video for you guys is the WordPress install method part two. All right. Now, in this video, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a second, even faster way to go ahead and install WordPress. So once again, you're going to want to log into your control panel, okay? And you're going to scroll down again. You're going to go to where it says software and services. And from here, you're going to see this little, it looks like a stopwatch, and it says quick install. I want you to go ahead and click on quick install. And over here, you can see that there's numerous different um, pieces of software and web software that you can install with this. But what you're going to want to do is right over here on the left where it says WordPress, you're going to just want to click on that. Okay. And from here, you're going to want to click the continue button. And what this is going to do is this is going to offer you some of the same questions that were in the Fantastico, but just in a little more streamlined presentation. And from here, what we can do is we can once again choose if we want it to appear in our root directory or if we want to put it into a different folder. Okay. And all we're going to have to do here is put in your admin name, your blog prep, your blog title, which is going to be my word. demo site, add your first name and your last name, and then just click install now. Now, I personally, I don't like using this method of installing WordPress so much because it does, it doesn't give you the choice to choose your own admin username. Um, so that's one of the reasons that I don't use it. Some people don't like Fantastico or some people just can't quite get the hang of installing with Fantastico. So this is a little bit easier way to install WordPress. And if you're looking for the absolute simplest way to install WordPress, this would be the way. But I do recommend that you use the Fantastico method that I showed you in method one. But if you do want to use this way, you just go ahead, click install now. It's going to install, and on the next page, it'll give you your login and password. But like I said, I'd rather not use this method. I'd rather you just use the Fantastico Deluxe because I've found, and a lot of my students and clients have found, that it's just a much easier way. And it's a little bit more secure when you can choose the administrator username rather than just going with the admin but it is a different way that you can install it. 